The dwarf planet Pluto is one of the most exciting celestial bodies in our neighborhood. We would like to present you with some real images of Pluto and provide you with a lot of background information and important facts about the former planet. In the same breath, if you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up. Pluto, the former planet, was classified as a planet for many years. Accordingly, the celestial body was also an integral part of our planetary system for a long period of time. This changed, however, in the year 2006. At that time, the professional world revised its definition of planets, which finally led to the fact that Pluto has been counted since then as a dwarf planet. The celestial body, like so many other planets and moons, was named after a figure of Roman mythology. Here, the deity Pluto describes the ruler of the underworld. The first space probe that was sent into the immediate vicinity of the dwarf planet was named New Horizons. The NASA spacecraft approached Pluto at a distance of up to 12,500 kilometers during its mission, which was launched on January 19, 2006. The New Horizons was able to gather important information about the dwarf planet. The images that the space probe took of the dwarf planet show Pluto in all its galactic beauty. But what is the current state of knowledge about Pluto that we humans have? The discovery and naming of Pluto with certainty have been known to us humans since February 18, 1930. Although the scientists of that time suspected the existence of the celestial body already for a longer period of time, it was to take about 25 years before the expert's thesis could be substantiated with facts. By comparing numerous photographs of the sky, astronomers at the Lowell Observatory in the U.S. city of Flagstaff finally succeeded in proving the presence of our neighbor. Since the employees of this renowned research facility were the first to discover the celestial body, they also had the privilege of naming it. The fact that the dwarf planet was finally baptized with the name of the Roman god of the underworld, however, is due to the then 11-year-old Venetia Burney. The experts were so impressed by the girl's name proposal that they immediately made it official. Pluto, a dwarf planet far from the sun, has an equatorial diameter of 2,274 kilometers, making it significantly smaller than our Earth's moon, which has a diameter of around 3,474 kilometers. Spatially speaking, Pluto has always traveled in the bar so-called Kuiper Belt. This is a remote region within our solar system in which an estimated 70,000 galactic objects cavort. Pluto itself is the oldest known celestial body in the Kuiper Belt. While our blue home planet needs a year or 365 days to fully orbit the fixed star of our planetary system, Pluto needs a much longer period of time for the same undertaking. In fact, it takes an incredible 248 years before the dwarf planet has ever orbited the sun. The days on Pluto are also much longer than on Earth. While we define an earthly day as a period of 24 hours, a Pluto day lasts 153 hours. The spatial distance between Pluto and the sun, which in detail amounts to about 6 billion kilometers, not only provides the giant orbit of the dwarf planet, but naturally also has a direct influence on the climate of the celestial body. Because Pluto is so far away from the fixed star of our solar system, the surface of the dwarf planet will never be warmer than negative 218 degrees Celsius. If one were to look up into the sky on Pluto, the sun would not appear as a large, clearly delineated disk, but merely as one of the countless small stars in the firmament. Since Pluto only receives very little sunlight due to its position, it's all the more difficult to recognize the dwarf planet from Earth. In fact, it's not at all possible to locate the celestial body without technical aids. Despite this, Pluto is still the brightest known representative of the Kuiper Belt. Before a few more celestial bodies were discovered that clearly resembled Pluto in size, characteristics, and composition, Researchers assumed that the former planet was originally a moon of Neptune. Today, we know that Pluto probably originated together with the Kuiper Belt, 
which was formed from remnants that emerged during the formation of the outer planetary system. Pluto is a solid celestial body whose mass consists mainly of rock and water ice. With an area of around 17.6 million square kilometers, its surface is roughly the size of the South American continent. While scientists once thought that Pluto was a moon of Neptune, we now know that the dwarf planet itself has at least five natural satellites. The largest of all Pluto's moons is Charon. Before the first spacecraft reached the immediate vicinity of Pluto, several years were to pass. As we mentioned briefly, it was the NASA probe New Horizons that first took a closer look at the celestial body. In the following, we would like to inform you about the large-scale mission of the renowned space agency. NASA's New Horizons mission is part of the overall New Frontiers program. This is a large-scale project of the world-famous space agency, over the course of which our solar system is to be explored in detail with unmanned aerial vehicles. As we briefly mentioned, New Horizons was the first probe ever to reach the close vicinity of the dwarf planet Pluto. Therefore, the mission goals that were given to the NASA space probe were all the more important. A curiosity at the edge, when New Horizons left the Earth's surface on January 19, 2006, Pluto was still considered a full planet. Meanwhile, the new classification of the dwarf planet followed only in August of the same year. The goals of the mission included taking a detailed look at the geological features of Pluto and its moon Charon. However, mapping the surface of the dwarf planet was also a key part of the project. The atmosphere of the celestial body was also to be investigated. In addition, New Horizons was to provide mankind with high-resolution images of our neighbor for the first time. The first real images of Pluto have given us a deeper insight into this mysterious and distant world. The first real images of Pluto. On April 15, 2015, the time had finally come. NASA published the first detailed photo of the dwarf planet and its moon, Charon. But this was only the beginning of a series of countless images that helped scientists understand the surface properties of the celestial body more precisely. NASA's space probe succeeded in mapping the dwarf planet and its largest moon extensively, and the missile also provided important information about the climate and the nature of Pluto, especially its enigmatic atmosphere. Remarkably, Pluto has no steady atmosphere. This only forms when the dwarf planet falls below a certain distance from the Sun. From this point on, the ice on the surface of the celestial body begins to melt and form a thin atmosphere around it, consisting mainly of nitrogen. However, when Pluto moves away from the Sun, the substances in the atmosphere freeze again. A photograph taken during the mission shows a stunning heart-shaped object on the surface of Pluto. This is essentially a gigantic glacier, which quickly aroused the interests of scientists. The area consists largely of frozen nitrogen. Because of its sheer mass, the glacier once caused the dwarf planet's axis of rotation to change. In combination with the tidal forces acting on Pluto through the moon, Charon, the axis of Pluto tilted slightly over time. However, the massive glacier is only one of many. In fact, New Horizons discovered dozens of more glaciers. Thus, Pluto is one of the few celestial bodies in our solar system where the existence of glaciers has been proven. Other measurement results suggest that beneath Pluto's surface, there could be a huge ocean of liquid water hidden under a layer of ice about four kilometers thick. Thanks to the images of the New Horizons probe, we now know that the surface of the dwarf planet is adorned by countless craters, canyons, and mountains. The largest mountains on Pluto reach a height of about 3.5 kilometers. With these dimensions, the Pluto mountains resemble the Rocky Mountains, which extend over large parts of North America. Experts also suspect that there was once immense volcanic activity on Pluto. However, the volcanic eruptions on Pluto were very different from the natural spectacles we know from our Earth. While on our planet, the eruption of a volcano is accompanied by the appearance of boiling hot lava, 
The volcanoes on Pluto are said to have spewed ice-cold water, which then froze on the surface of the celestial body. Findings about Charon, the largest Pluto moon, astounded scientists with its unusual geological composition. Just like Pluto, its natural satellite is said to have been affected by numerous ice-cold volcanic eruptions, which played an important role in the development of the moon's surface. But also, the two smaller Pluto moons, Nix and Hydra, astonished the experts because of their strong reflections. Experts, therefore, assume that the water ice on these natural satellites must be exceptionally pure, although the NASA space probe has long since passed Pluto. The mission of the unmanned space vehicle has not yet reached its end. At present, the Sun is on its way to the outermost regions of our planetary system, where it's expected to penetrate previously unexplored regions. We hope you enjoyed our trip to Pluto. Do you have any suggestions, thoughts, or questions about our video? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments. See you soon. Parm trickyo.